Welcome to the changes to the team episode for game week 29. Before we get on to the team selection for the upcoming game week, let's take a look at the points scored in game week 28. Eldin Jakubovic lost his clean sheet very late on, as Swansea found a stoppage time consolation goal. Everton were able to keep hold of their clean sheet, beating West Brom 3-0, but unfortunately Leighton Baines was substituted off at half-time due to a back problem, so he missed out on the clean sheet. In midfield, Giffy Sigurdsson once again provided a return with his assist in Swansea's 2-1 defeat to Hull. It was a frustrating week for owners of Liverpool midfielders. Roberto Firmino withdrew through injury, while Sadio Mane and Philip Coutinho both blanked against Burnley, with the latter coming off just one second before the 60-minute mark to receive one point. Thankfully, the late decision to remove Matt Phillips for Josh King paid off. The Bournemouth forward missed a penalty early on, but recovered from that experience and went on to net a hat-trick, scoring a huge 18 points. As for the forwards, Andy Carroll was underwhelming, failing to impose himself on the 3-2 defeat to Bournemouth. He had just one goal attempt during the game, although it was on target. Romelu Lukaku delivered as captain, however, with one goal and one assist in Everton's 3-0 win over West Brom. So despite fails from Andy Carroll and Philip Coutinho, the eight-point hit paid off overall, thanks to Josh King, and the score of 66-8 has seen a big rise in rank, from 25k up to 12k, and that's the 11th green arrow in a row now, so it's been a fantastic purple patch. So now let's look ahead to game week 29. This week's transfer is a tricky one, with Alexis Sanchez, Deli Ali, and Christian Eriksen all looking like key targets to bring in. Without Harry Kane, the two Spurs midfielders will need to step up, and they have a great run of fixtures to do so, with Southampton at home up next. But Alexis Sanchez has been such a key player this season, and super consistent, so he's the favourite for me as things stand. In terms of who makes way, it looks like being one of the Liverpool midfielders ahead of their away trip to Man City. Ironically though, that's the type of game that Liverpool have been turning up for, so that move could certainly backfire. Sadio Mane has looked slightly better of late in terms of finishing compared with Philip Coutinho, but the Brazilian is quite a substantial amount cheaper. Alternatively, it may even be an option to drop both Liverpool midfielders for a four-point hit in favour of Alexis Sanchez and a Spurs midfielder. Long term, this would make it easier to double up on Spurs' attack, since King and Aguero could make way for a second Spurs midfielder and Gabbiadini next game week. And here's how the team might look after making that change. Lee Grant will return in goal. Neither goalkeeper has a great fixture, but Stoker at home, and have kept three clean sheets in their last four games. In defence, Leighton Baines is expected to be able to overcome his back problem to line up against Hull, along with Seamus Coleman. Marcus Alonso will travel to Stoke. For captaincy this week, Sergio Aguero and Alexis Sanchez provide options. Man City hosts Liverpool, while Arsenal face a West Brom side that may have taken their foot off the gas a little bit, having reached 40 points. However, Romelu Lukaku is sure to be a popular choice once again, having provided seven goals and one assist during his last five games. His tally of 11 shots on target during the last six games is more than any other player. As always, be sure to follow FPL Tips on Twitter for the confirmed team and captaincy selection. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video.